Let's see what you guys think, because a lot of people have a problem with telling the truth in the comment section. But check this out. How do you feel about this with Lush, AD, T Real, this whole conversation? I think Lush was trying to redeem himself. But one of the things that Lush said, or did he redeem himself? What you think? You know, the whole cocaine bot thing was brought up. Uh, some people didn't even know that this dude has been around for years uh, doing what he does. But with that being said, one of the things stood out to me, and shame on you, by the way, you guys that feel, why are you talking about this dude? This dude, these dudes are nobody. Bro, believe it or not, do your research and you find out who he is. He's put a, He's contributed a lot to rap. Hip hop, believe it or not, just because it's not you or your friend that thinks you ah 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 and you like that, he put in more work than a lot of you dudes that are up there. Facts. With that being said, that's just what I got out of my research. I could be wrong, right? You let me know. But one of the things that stood out about him to me that I could identify with was this. I'm going to show you right now. Hold on. Holy snap. Let's get to it, though, bro, right now. So if you're wondering why this little thing is here, I was just on my gaming channel, On The Lockout Gaming, here on YouTube and On The Lockout on Twitch, uh, Reddit, Discord, all that, On The Lockout. Let's get to it. For those that have been tuning in to Golden Culture with a K, thanks a lot. I'm a million percent grateful. Let's get to it. Right here. Pop. Pop. I'm going to show you right now what stood out to me that he said. What do you think about this whole interview or episode they just did? Not like I didn't grow up roasting with the homies and all that <laughs> shit. But when I got sober, and this is what I was leading up to before, when I got sober, I had to recalibrate my whole entire thing. And I've been fucked up for so long yeah. that I didn't like, I don't, I'm like super uncomfortable I'm just getting more comfortable. Yuri in the motherfucking building. Um, I'm just getting more comfortable in my own skin as a human being. Like mm. I had never like, I didn't know how to like kick it with homies sober. I didn't know how to talk to girls sober. Like I had to learn how to fucking like have sex sober. You feel me? Like I was so used to being been fucked up since I was 12 years old. So I had to change my whole entire energy and it really made me very docile and non-confrontational. And because I used to crash out so quick up until the moment I got sober, that when I was sober, it's like, I'm not, anytime there's been a, um, an issue pop up, and this is like what they taught me in rehab. I'm trying to talk it out. I'm trying to hear people out. I'm trying to express my feelings. And then at a certain point, it's like, damn, I've gone so far on the other side of the spectrum that I'm fucking soft now. You feel me? Like, And that has made me a target. So. Right there when he said, I got so far to the other side of the spectrum that it's made me soft now. I don't know how many of you guys, but it's happened to me. Look. Bang. I get clean, and I've been clean for years now. I know you probably don't think so, but I used to deal with opiates, perks, dog food, ah! anything in their mother, bro. I tried every drug, sold every drug. It's New York City. It's lit. It's on fire. But with that being said, I fell back where I'm doing the right thing at certain times in my life. And it's like, you got to let everybody get away with everything. Yo, bro, that's not the way. Yo, war chill. You're institutionalized. Yo, you're wild. Yo, you still living like you're a gang member. Like, and I felt like, yo, I'm getting soft, bro. But a lot of people in the comment section before we had this conversation, if I'm not mistaken here on the lockout, and a lot of pe you guys used to tell me like, nah, you're growing and you're getting wiser and older and smarter. You know, like becoming a real man. It takes some of us longer than others. Look, I'll show you here. Watch. Give me a second. That's me, your boy Warpath from On The Lockout in a coma, bro. I was in over five comers, my dude. Shot up, stabbed up, overdosed numerous of times, close to death, had to learn how to talk, how to walk again, had a speech impediment, crazy, got metal in my face, my back. It's like I'm a robot. 
in real life though like not even taking away from nothing from his bot thing but <laughs> what a coincidence i'm just saying like let's be realistic though i do got all the metal beep 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 i'll be beeping when i go through <laughs> but stay off the streets this is what happens if you don't want to end up like me let's get back to it lush ad t real no jumper Pop, let's get to it. Thanks a lot to you guys that tuned in to Golden Culture with a K. The link's in the description to that channel and all my other platforms in the description to this video, I meant. Facts. Pop, let's get to uh, this situation with these guys and finish up the rest of their convo. Oh, uh, you're not soft. You're not soft. And you, you, and you know, I, and I feel like Almighty oh, ain't doing shit in militia. Nah, you're not soft. You just pussy, nigga. Nah, I just get you buns, my dude. Facts. <laughs> you heard? You're not soft. You're not soft. You just buns. <laughs> Chill. I'm kidding. He's a good dude, man. Not everybody's supposed to be around you because they tough, my dude. You gotta have some meek and humble dudes around you. Or you're gonna be doo doo. Let's go. He just he just talking aggressive ghetto. No, nah, but but yeah, like, uh, nigga, that's just who he I is. Feel like the, feel the cipher was a little uh. Was nah, a little no, malicious. but here's the thing. Malicious yeah. seems so like a good word for it. So here's the thing. <laughs> well, I think he got a little irritated because if he felt like it was a little personal, but you he still got a rap. Can, but, but you look, still can he, get out of and there. Let me clarify. We gotta get that. Gina here. She and, makes and, eh, rap. And, and and let me clarify that because I when when uh suspect and I texted this weekend, I said to him, I was like, here's the thing. To me. Rapping is something that I take seriously. So if, if you're talking about my rapping, like what I, I feel like we're all rappers. So if I'm gonna talk about your rapping, that that you would take it personally, and it's things that. So when I said I could say things about well, you, it's gonna show and prove. But, I but hear people say it all the time. So, so when I, so when I was <laughs> when I said to like suspect, I could say things about you. You know what I wanted to say? I wanted to say like, oh, you're talking about you got 60 million streams with no features, but you got fucking songs with Blueface and Frosty, and those are your most. You should have said but, that. But that's what. Why you didn't say that? Because I didn't. Because the way he jokes around, and it's not like, bro, you're you're. You're a hood dude. You're a hood dude. When y'all roast, you don't fucking get as... Yeah. Like, it, he has a different energy where it's super... His energy, boy was getting hype. Boys be like, yeah, yeah, what's up? What's up? Like, we do out here in New York. You get it? Like, you get hyped to the point where a fight might break out. Like, what's up? Boom, what's up? You think I'm playing? What up? Boom, boom, bing, boom. Oh, my God. Bing, bing, get him off of me. Like, it gets intense, my guy. <laughs> right? So he got a different, he means his hype, his level of hypeness is different, my dude. You heard facts. You heard dudes just be like, what up? You think I'm playing with you, son? I'm going to keep it a stack. You seen when son snuffed Duke, what you said to me? Bing, bing. I was feeling that when suspect, when suspect snuffed that kid, he was right for pun. Homie, you spit me? You crazy. I'm, oh, nah, he called him a bitch. Suspect spit him. That was foul. That was a bitch move, though, suspect. But still in all, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You didn't know what to do. You was like, you heard? You was like, you didn't know what to do. But I get it, though. He was supposed to snuff him. I like the fact that son called him a bitch and right on the camera, ping, ping, it don't matter where it's at, homie. Where you volley is where I'm going to give it to you at. But I get what this dude is saying, bro. His energy is a hyperactive, uh, 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 you get it? Like some... Warpath type of ignorant flow. <laughs> but it is what it is, bro. But I get it. And homeboy's not out there like that. Lush, he's trying to be meek and humble. And here's this kid acting like wild Bill. <laughs> Pun intended. We're unhinged and it's not fucking regular. And you could say that's the way home. We're not on the block. We're on a podcast. Facts. We're in front of fucking millions of people. So now he got a rap now. No, the, the first time, the first time you want to really express that. That's the only thing. You're on a podcast, but this is why people don't get. You see, Lush, Lush is a good dude. He's like, we on a podcast in front of millions of people, bro. Like, you got to conduct yourself like an adult. But Shorty and other people don't see it like that because the audience, we've gotten them like that <clears throat> as a whole, even me. You want to see the hype shit. You want to see the wild stuff. You want to see the drama, the fights, the beef, all that. And that's why people think they got to do. Like, I got to go up there and do something that'll captivate the audience attention in 2.5 seconds. And the only is getting hype and, and, and wilding and starting controversies and fights. And that's not it, bro. 
It's okay to watch a regular podcast episode, bro, once in a while. You ain't always got to be crazy, man. Damn. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Let's go. And I'm trash. You do it in front yeah, of bro, but millions if somebody... of people. No, no, no. Hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. Hold on. And then on That's top right. of Hold that. Hold on, AD. You, What's up with you, bro? The laughing is one thing. Let's talk. the laughing, we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it now. But then he goes off and just like, you were the f like the most awfulest rapper of all time. Man, he kept talking <laughs> he, about it on his screen. I, yo, I do say. Someone's like, you are the most awfulest rapper of all times, bro. Damn, you suck, bro. Like, that's crazy, right? They call that like subestimando la gente, right? In different languages, subestimando is like you, like I don't like to do that. If a person sucks, whether it's in podcasting, whether it's in anything that we're doing, I don't want to put them down and be like, yo, bro, that shit is like straight whack, right? Like if somebody shows me their setup and they think their setup is all that, and I think it's kiddish and derlickish, and like, bro, you're on Reddit on the lockout, bro. Reddit is like a kid's app. Man, you're on Discord on the lockout? 2632? Man, that's for kids because they don't know, right? They don't know no better, bro. They don't know what's going on. They don't know real content. They don't know that we stepped it up from just Rikers Island stories to growing. So now we're pussy because we growing, you heard? We pussy. I don't know. What do you think about that? It probably don't make any sense to you. But it, it saddens my heart. To my real ones, I'm a million percent grateful. Birds too. That, that's the whole other thing. Anytime, anytime I need a laugh, I go to your Instagram, and it's so crazy because- <laughs> He said that? <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, he said, watch his music video. Yeah, oh, that was no. wild. Which, which wow. by the way, I gotta thank him on, because literally- <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That video went from fucking like 5,000 views to like 22,000 views since he did that. So it, it, it is kind but of- But look, wow. if somebody- And is most people that see it were like, wow, this shit is fire. It's way better than any music Almighty has. I can't Ooh. believe he was talking shit. That's not me saying it. And here's the thing. I Yo, bro, not for nothing. He rapped. He, he could rap, bro. I heard a few bars and boy was spitting some fire things that make sense. But when we got better delivery as rappers, like your flow, the way you dress, Suspect has a better delivery, swag, and flow with the dressing and all that. Like Suspect, we this is the way we live our life. We'll stand lush next to, lush, to Suspect and be like, in this video, who do you think is the derlic? And right away, everybody will pick Lush as being the derlic and not Suspect because we judge people of the way they dress and the way they look. You get it? And we don't judge them on their character, uh, morals, principles, uh, integrity, you know, man talk. We just judge from a look and you think like, well, some right there look like he a little badass. He got a little more swag. He look like the rapper. Some right here look like a Pepe. <laughs> you heard? Like, he look like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. But let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more Warpath reactions like this. If not, this will be the last one. Drop a comment. <laughs> Let me know that you love me. Yo, I love y'all, man. I'm a million percent grateful. Thank you for tuning in to On The Lockout. Boom! We're in a building live at 8.30 p.m. daily.